As of today, the U.S. is in a position where they might default on their debt by June 1st. That's less than one month away. The problem is that neither side of the government at this point is willing to budge. What happens if they can't reach an agreement to extend the debt? Well, as you see here in this article by NBC, it could cause severe damage to the economy and to the stock market. It's estimated that if an agreement isn't reached, it could cost the U.S. 8 million jobs and it could literally cut the stock market in half. With this potential default looming, how can we protect our portfolio? How can stock, ETF, and option traders prevent their accounts from getting cut in half or possibly even wiped out? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to protect your portfolio in the case of a U.S. default on debt or any other black swan event. And at the very end, I'm going to tell you how you can actually do this for free. Just so you know, as this video progresses, I'm going to progress to my favorite techniques that I use to protect my stock and option portfolio. One way you can protect your portfolio in case the U.S. defaults on its debt or any other disaster is by buying call options in the VIX. Here you see a monthly chart of the VIX. Now going back to the Great Recession in 2008, 9, and 10, we see that the VIX spiked from its normal trading range around 15 to 20, and it spiked all the way up to just under 90. You see, whenever there's a lot of volatility or fear in the market, the VIX is a gauge of fear, so it will spike up. Here you see that it went up over four times what it typically was trading at. So one way you can protect yourself is by buying call options in the VIX. Now right now the VIX closed out just over 17 on Friday. So if we wanted to buy ourselves some protection, we could buy a call option in the VIX. Here we're looking at the option chain for the VIX ticker symbol VIX. We're going out to the July 18th. Now you could consider the June 20th, but just to give ourselves a little more time, I decided to go out to July 18th. And remember, we're just trying to protect ourselves in case there was a big collapse in the overall market. So if we wanted to buy that protection, let's say that we wanted to buy the $30 call options. Notice that these options would cost us somewhere between $1.74 per share and $1.82 per share. So let's kind of go in the middle. We'll say that it would cost us $1.78 per share. So how many of these VIX call options should you buy? Remember that one contract is the equivalent of 100 shares. So if you buy one $30 call option contract, then it gives you control of 100 shares of VIX at $30 per share. If the VIX were to spike way up like it did back in 2008 crisis, or even looking at more recently at the COVID crisis, we see that again, it was trading in this $15 to $20 per share range. And it too spiked up, although it didn't get quite as high, but it spiked up to right on $85 per share. If the VIX were to spike up again to $85, then this $30 call option will be $55 in the money. Now remember that each contract gives you control of 100 shares worth of the underlying. So we'd have a profit of $55 per share minus what the option cost us times 100 shares. So that would give us a profit, not counting how much the option will cost us, of $5,500 per call option contract that we own. Remember these call option contracts, they're going for around $1.78 per share. So that would cost you about $178 for one call option contract. But your profit potential, if it were to go all the way up to $85 per share, will be $5,300 per call option contract. So the question you have to ask yourself is, how much protection do I want? The problem I have with using the VIX is that we don't know exactly where it will end up. We just know that when the market gets fearful, the VIX will spike up. And we looked at the two most recent biggest fears that the market was presented with. So it does give us a pretty good idea of where it might spike up to, but you won't know exactly. So how many of those call options should you buy? Well, it's really something you have to decide for yourself. But just keep in mind that if the VIX was at 85 around June 18th, then the call options you bought would have gone way up in value and you should have around $5,300 per call option contract that you own. The next way you can get yourself some protection is by buying call options of UVXY. Here you're looking at the monthly chart of UVXY, and I intentionally went this far out because UVXY has one very big weakness. Notice that if we go all the way back to March of 2013, when UVXY began trading, because of reverse splits, we see that it was trading for almost $10 million per share. That means that over the past 10 or so years, the VIX has basically lost 100% of its value. So why am I suggesting you consider this as one way to protect your portfolio? It's because of what happens to UVXY when there's a lot of volatility in the market. Now I showed you that with VIX, it went up over four times what it normally traded at. Notice what happened to UVXY during that same COVID crisis. Here we see that it went up over 800% in just two months. So it went up over eight times what it was trading at the previous month. As you can see, UVXY moves a lot more than VIX does when there's a spike in volatility in the market. 
Now the problem I have with UVXY is as you can see here, and I'll just zoom in to the past couple years, notice that on any given month, UVXY could have a drop of 20%. Here you see that back in May of 2022, it dropped 25%. Going back to January of 2023, it dropped 27%. Going here to March of 2023, we see there was a small drop, but it dropped 7%. UVXY loses a lot of value every month, but it is really good at capturing volatility when there's a spike in volatility. So let's take a look at how much it would cost us to buy some call options in UVXY. Now currently UVXY is trading for $3.67 per share. So if we go out to the June 16th expiration, notice that we could buy the $10 call options for about 10 cents per share. Now keep in mind that if UVXY copies what it did when COVID first broke out, then it could go up over eight times. That would mean that it'd go from $3.50 per share to $28 per share. So if we do the math, if UVXY goes from where it's at now at $3.50 per share, and it goes up by eight times, then it would spike up to $28 per share. If you bought the $9 strike price call option, that'd mean that the call option you own at expiration will be worth about $19 per share. Since each call option lets you control 100 shares, then you would have a profit of right at $1,900 per contract. And remember, that only costs you about a dime per share or $10 per contract. So the cost is very minimal. So how much would you need to buy of UVXY in order to protect your portfolio? Well, say for example, that you're wanting $50,000 in protection. Since each of these contracts would yield you a profit of $1,900, if UVXY did go up by eight times or more, then you would need to buy about 26 of these call option contracts to give you the potential to pocket $50,000 in profit if UVXY went up eight times from where it's at now, between now and June 16th. And since each one of those contracts cost about $10 per contract, then it would only cost you about $263 to buy that protection. Now, what I like about using UVXY is that it goes way up in value as volatility spikes. It goes up in value typically twice as much as what VIX has done here in recent history. For that reason, UVXY is the second way that I would consider buying myself some protection. However, keep in mind that if volatility stays the same, UVXY loses value every single month and sometimes it loses big money. And before I tell you how you can protect your portfolio for free, let me give you one more way that you can get that protection. Now we're looking at the monthly chart of SPY or the S&P 500. I like to go back and look at what happened during different events in the market to make decisions on what we should trade. So let's go back to the 2008 Great Recession to see how much SPY dropped during that market decline. Here we see that it dropped approximately 57% from October of 2007 until March of 2009. So we wanna keep that number in the back of our mind. Now let's consider an event that happened more recent, the COVID crash. If we go back to February of 2020, we see that over the next two months, the S&P 500 dropped 35%. So those are the two numbers we wanna keep in mind as we're trying to decide what strike prices we want to trade in. Here you see the option chain for SPY in that same June 16th expiration day. So let's say we wanted to buy ourselves some protection. So we'd own some puts that would go way up in value if the S&P 500 dropped by 35%. To do that, why don't we consider buying put options that are about 20% out of the money? That would put us at buying put options around the $330 strike price. Here we see that the $330 put option that expires on June 16th will cost us right around 38 cents per share. Since one put option contract gives us control of 100 shares, then it would cost us about $38 per option contract. Now, what would happen to this $330 put option if the S&P 500 went down by 35% like it did in the COVID crash? Then it would be trading right at $268 per share. Since we bought the $330 put option, that put option should be worth around $62 per share. And remember, it only costs us $0.38 cents per share to buy it. So that means we have a profit of right at $61.82 per share since each one of these put options lets you control 100 shares worth of the underlying. And we'd be showing a profit of $6,182 for each June 16th $330 put option contract that we bought. So going back to our $50,000 scenario, if we wanted to buy ourselves $50,000 worth of insurance, then we just take that $50,000 divided by the $6,182 in profit that we expect to receive if SPY dropped by 35%. And you see that we would need to buy eight contracts worth of these June 16th $330 put options. Now at the beginning of this video, I told you I'd show you how you could do this for free. Now remember, the June 16th $330 put options were gonna cost us about 38 cents per share. If we felt comfortable doing it, to pay for that insurance, we could sell the same expiration date, June 16th, $440 call options, 
and should get around 39 cents per share for those call options. Now, if you didn't own SPY, you wanna understand what you're doing here because you're selling someone the right to buy SPY from you at $440 per share. So if SPY were to go up to $440 per share, then you could be on the hook to sell those shares at that $440 strike price if you didn't adjust it in some way. Here you see that would be an increase of about 6% from where the S&P 500 is trading right now. So you'd wanna play with those numbers to make sure you feel comfortable with what you're buying and selling. That's how I like to get my insurance for free. Now, since you stay with me to the end, I wanna give you a bonus. I wanna show you how we've been buying ourselves some protection over the past couple weeks. Here you see a trade we did in Google yesterday. We sold to open the Google June 16th $100 put option and we bought for protection that same expiration day, June 16th $70 put option. That put option only cost us five cents per share. So we pocketed a net credit of $1.86 per share for this bullish put credit spread. But what this does, it gives us protection in case Google were to drop by about 30% below that $70 per share. Yes, 30% is a big drop, but since we have cash set aside for all of our trades, we can withstand the drop, and this is just a way to buy some really cheap insurance as we enter new positions. Now, I typically don't like doing a lot of bullish put credit spreads, but when there's some event in the market that could potentially have a huge negative effect on it, then I'm very happy to buy insurance like this for only five cents per share. If you'd like to get an alert when we do trades, like the bullish put credit spread that I just shared with you, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see some of the tips and tricks that I use to repair positions that have gone against me, check out the video series at the link below entitled Option Repair Strategies. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.